Assalamu alaikum dear students here is your teacher for computer science we start our lecture from input output devices part number 2 before starting we will have the review of the previous lecture here you see the mind map of unit number 3 then input devices which you studied earlier keyboard mouse joystick touch screen microphone scanner you can see on the screen in the tabular form now output devices which is our lecture for today in the tabular form you can see monitor touch screen projector printer plotter speaker these are all output devices here you see in the pictorial form the question is why we have the output devices why we use them they are used to receive information from the computer in two forms soft copy and hard copy output devices are also physical equipment means we can touch them these are the these translate the outcome means result which are processed into the cpu and the result can be understood by the user the purpose of output devices is to convert data and information into the electronic impulses to human understandable form means we can understand them such as printed reports another output devices are speakers and headphones which are audio output devices then we have monitors a monitor is also called a display screen because we can have text and graphics displayed there are two types of monitors crt cathode ray tube which uses a large vacuum tube which we studied is the invention in the first generation of computer then we have the flat panel display which is also called liquid crystal display the types of monitors in terms of color capabilities means which colors are in the monitors monochrome means only uses two colors one for the background and one for the foreground number second is gray scale it uses it displays different shades of gray number 3 is color it is also called color monitor rgb monitor means red green blue monitors because it uses the signals red green and blue it can gives the result from 16 to over 1 million different colors then we have the printers which are also the output device because they gives the output in the hard copy on the piece of paper on the sheet of paper there are two types of printers impact and non impact the speed of printer is measured into characters per second line per minute and page per minute and the quality is measured into dots per inch impact printers uses striking and ink ribbon while they are also more noisier than non impact printers there are different types of impact printers daisy wheel which consists of a plastic or metal wheel on which the shape of each character is printed number 2 is dot matrix which gives the output in the form of dots as we have in the earlier classes we use alphabets for tracing in the dot form Number three is line printers, which gives the entire line at a time as output. Then we have non-impact printers, which works without striking the paper. They uses spray nozzles, light emitting diodes, or laser beams for the high quality types are inkjet, which sprays ink, laser printer, which uses laser beam. LCD and LED, which is liquid crystal display or light emitting diodes, rather than rather than a laser. Then we have thermal printer, 
thermal means heating it works by pushing heated pins against heat sensitive paper they are widely used in calculator and fax machines here you see the difference between impact and non impact printers on the screen then you have the plotter which is also an special kind of output device the difference between the plotter and the printer is that it gives the graphics on paper which includes drawings graphs maps machines components it draw the lines using a pen while printer gives an ordinary output there are two types of plotters pen plotters and electrostatic plotters pen plotters are again of two types drum plotters and flat bed plotters the difference between the two is that in the drum plotter the pen is moved in the single axis and the paper itself moves on the cylindrical drum while in the flat bed plotter the paper is fixed on the flat surface and the pens are moved to draw the image it gives only limited print then we have the electrostatic plotter which produces a faster image by using the uh, high voltage to charge the paper and the this voltage attacks the tuner which is melted on the paper with heat it is fast but the result is poor when compared to pen plotters students all this was about to uh, about output devices now output devices is completed before this we completed input devices now you have the written task you have to answer the questions by uh, page numbers for the answer are written then you have the post evaluation which you will do by concentrated on the lecture which will help you to find out the answers of the given questions thank you